Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, July 11, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 18, reading from verse 3 to 4. And it says, And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is great in the kingdom of heaven. We thank God for this reminder this morning. Except we are converted, except our hearts are converted and we become as a little child, we will not make it to heaven. Now, what does this mean? Have we ever stopped and examined a child? Think about a child. Do you know that a, a child character is one of such innocent? Let me explain. A child do not hold grudges. A child don't keep malice, or especially in my day growing up. But even now, children, children are loving. Children are forgiving. Children, they are so special because what? They, their heart is not tainted by our bad attitude and bad habits that eventually manifest themselves in later years, if not groom and nurture in the right direction. And that is why the Word of God tells us this morning that what? We have to become as a child. We have to be like a child what does it mean to be a child and i think verse 4 clear that up for us god is basically saying that we need to practice humility we are all equal at the foot of the cross isn't that so do you think that i am better than you if you have a hundred degree and i don't have one do you think that you are better than me if you have six car and all I have is a tricycle, do you think that you are better than me? Who told you that? The only person who told you that is the value of the world and the world. But according to God's standard, that means nothing. And so God is not interested in our credential, in our position. What God wants is a heart that is melt. And is broken down on the altar. A heart that will surrender to him. A heart that is obedient. A heart that is humble. That's what God wants. Because when we are humble, God can use us to do great things far beyond our imagination. But if we are full of pride, and if all we concern, and if all we are concerned with is offices, and position and being in the spotlight then God can't do nothing with us God can't use us because we will misrepresent what he stands for and we heard the term he said the first shall be last and the last shall be first what's what's the message in that God is not in any competition we all will finish the race if we continue to run so it doesn't matter if you come in first are you coming last, dead, dead last? You're getting the same prize. As long as you're coming, you're getting the same prize. And in a previous text, I, I told you before that we are called sons and daughters of His. And God don't give special treatment. Any special treatment He give one, He give the other. That's the special treatment God give. Don't, he doesn't join the favoritism bandwagon. That's not God. Because that kind of practice, God knows, it only manifests the wrong spirit and not a spirit that represents Him. Huh? It's not a spirit that represents Him. And so, if we want to be great, then we have to be humble. That's the key. That's the key message in this passage. Humility. Humility and any child of God who does not possess humility and do not strive to possess humility or to 
have this character, this fruit, you are heading for one place and that's destruction. Because it means that you will never listen to anything that God has say to you and you will never be obedient to him because you're going to always want to have your own way you're going to always want to do what please you and anything god say to you just think that him just run off him out and him can't tell you nothing you get my picture now so humility if you want to be great because when you're humble god can rise you up on the wings of eagle and he will allow you to soar among the heights of the mountains and the clouds. So let God build you up. You don't try to build up yourself. Forget about yourself and humble before him. And he will lift you up in due time. So may God continue to help us that we will practice humility, that we will practice patience. And that we'll continue to trust him and trust his leading in our lives. Amen.